All right, guys, so I think we really need to discuss about this topic here. We've been going back and forth with many videos explaining when ultrasonic sensors were going to be returning or when Tesla Vision is going to bring back the same features on the same parity as the ultrasonic sensors. Now, unlike previous cars and future cars, yours is going to be smack dab right in the middle where it won't even have ultrasonic sensors nor the future radar in hardware 4. Now, if you guys really think about it, it really couldn't be a coincidence because right at the same time Tesla decided to remove the sensors, Sensors, there was the chip shortage and there was also the ultrasonic sensor shortage There are tons of other companies out there that decided to remove certain features of their vehicles Because it did not have the parts now as you guys know with Tesla. They're really good at innovating They're really good at making things work without the hardware as you guys can see with radar with the lumbar support With the rain sensors and a bunch of other things as well But now at this point the ultrasonic sensors are also gone now all of this really caused havoc in the Tesla community and it finally reached its way up into the luxury segment as well the model s's and x's and at this very point right now if you pick up any tesla vehicle you are not going to get a bunch of features outside of the typical distance measurement that you'll see when you park up in your garage or when you move forward into an object you're also going to miss a bunch of other features as well such as auto park and smart summon now there has been recent news that Tesla has put a dedicated team into working on the parking stack and the removal of the parking sensors. Tesla Vision is ultimately going to take over this segment of what the ultrasonic sensors were capable of. But in my opinion, there are so many flaws to it and I personally cannot see it happening in any possible way through pure software. Now I discussed a lot of these issues and provided a lot of evidence to it in my previous videos talking about how the camera placements are not there and with the hardware four upgrades that we're seeing right now with no additional cameras we're not going to get the full replacement of what we had earlier no matter what tesla does with the wheel clicks and the camera orientation they are still going to have that blind spot right up front and they're mainly going to be relying on the previous data that it had before the vehicle was turned off essentially when you turn your vehicle off and you turn it back on the system is just going to take a pure guess of what it thinks was in that blind spot when it was last turned off now I further went in depth with this in a previous video so if you guys want to know more about it I dropped it in the description below like I said so go check that video out but now we're just going to talk purely on what's to come with Tesla Vision. So you notice here that with the luxury segments, usually how it works is the removal happens on the mass marketed vehicles, the Model 3 and Y, before it happens to any of the other models. And this makes complete sense because they don't want the older models to have a subpar experience. They want to know that the reliable radar or the reliable ultrasonic sensors are going to work up until the very point that it fully transitions over. That means that Tesla Vision is working. I can only say this with so much confidence because it already happened previously with the radar removal. They took it off the Model 3 and the Model Y for a long bit of time before they took it off the Model S and X. And by that time, Tesla Vision took over 90% of the radar capabilities. Now, all of this is very detrimental to the sales of Tesla vehicles because they want it to be on par, on parity with older vehicles. You don't want another person with a 2019 vehicle to come up to you with a 2023 and say that they have better hardware, better features than your vehicle does. Now, as much as you guys disagree, the Model 3 and Model Y is still a mass marketed vehicle. It's still the cheaper version of their lineup. So it makes more sense that they're going to demo or they're going to beta test a lot of the uncompleted features on the mass marketed vehicle. And the customers won't complain as much as if somebody who bought a $100,000 vehicle and expected everything to work from day one. All right. So now talk Talking about you guys that picked up vehicles from November 2022 all the way up until this point, what's going to happen? Are you going to have the replacement, a retrofit or not? Because you don't have ultrasonic sensors, nor do you have the radars. All right, so first things first, Tesla Vision is going to eventually come on to your vehicles just like every other vehicle, meaning that you're going to see some kind of distance measurement when you're trying to park. That's pretty much a guarantee. Now, the thing is how reliable and how safe it is, is going to be a different story. I I personally do not see it working as well as ultrasonic sensor vehicles. There is no possible way for cameras to see past metal hoods. So you guys are going to have to rely on whatever Tesla 
gives you. Unfortunately, you're not going to get the newer hardware vehicles that has the new radar and you're not going to get the ultrasonic sensors like 2022 and before that. So what's going to happen here, I think, is Tesla is going to find out now that they are going to need the radar for it to fully function just as it did previously. The same goes for the removal of the radar that happened a while back. They found out that it does not work on parity with previous vehicles. So you know that the following distance is now two instead of one and you know that it cannot go up to 90 miles per hour and is limited to 85 at the moment. So they're sort of backtracking everything and it's going to come to the point where they're going to have to accept the fact that hardware is needed to make software better. So for those of you guys that don't have ultrasonic sensors nor do you have the radar, you're probably going to get retrofitted with the radar at the minimum. I'm sure that while Tesla was developing the Model 3s and Model Ys without the parking sensors, they've already thought about it and they've thought about all the things that could have happened and they've already had hardware for planned. So the likelihood of retrofits happening is very high. Your wiring harnesses are probably already upgraded. There's already probably connections for the full self-driving computer and there's probably an empty connector right at the front of your bumper there ready for the plug and play of radar. Now nothing has been confirmed by Tesla and nothing has been confirmed by anybody else about hardware 4. However, somebody did open their front bumper and noticed that there was an empty connector and there was a spot that said no radar. It was printed directly from Tesla saying that this is a no radar unit. So it means that there's a possibility that the radar is going to be put there when the time comes. Now somebody in the comments did mention a possibility here with Tesla Vision working alongside Sentry Mode and using that to figure out if something rolled into its blind spot. Now that is a really good idea. However, as you guys can see throughout the past years, the Sentry Mode uses so much battery that it just doesn't make sense. And on top of that, Sentry Mode typically only happens when there's a large enough alert and then the system will kick on. So that's probably not going to be what Tesla is going to take as an approach. So at the moment, guys, things have been pretty quiet in terms of what's going to happen with the ultrasonic sensors. And from what we've seen in previous experiences with the radar, it's going to take a while longer before a software update gets pushed out to rectify all these issues. There's even a possibility that in the future, when supply chain issues are gone, Tesla might bring back the ultrasonic sensors once they realize something is missing. They could possibly drill out all the slots in the bumper. They could possibly just replace the entire bumper. There's a lot of possibilities to it. We don't know at the moment, but the best guess is probably the new radar. But anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video here. And I think I'm asking a little bit too much at this point, but if you guys haven't already watched my previous video and right at the end, I always tell you guys to click that link right up top there. It is the only video in the past while that got fewer than a thousand views. So please help me out and get it there by simply just clicking on the video for like a minute and then you guys can do whatever you want. But I'd really appreciate that. Anyways, guys, this is long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.